Do you like to read? If not, feel free to turn this off and don't bother watching it. If yes, however, this might be interesting for you. I'm the narrator of a new movie called Moonrise Kingdom, and I'm also the librarian for the township of New Penzance, where the story takes place. The following brief animated film clips will give you just a glimpse into the suitcase carried by the heroine of the movie, her name is Susie Bishop, as she reads a short paragraph from each of her six favorite books. Now we're going to begin with the story of a young gymnast and her powerful amulet. If there's one thing competition-level gymnasts know how to do, even if they're only 11 and a half years old and they've been publicly betrayed by their entire extended families and they've been grounded since February, now they're going to be forced to get braces for an overbite that isn't their fault, it's jump. Shelly did. Our story begins as her toes leave the ground. The first of the next two books is about a strong-willed girl and a troubled lion. The next takes place on a foreign planet. His eyes downcast, his kingdom in ruins, Minar pressed his heavy paw through the rippling surface of the cool shallows and down to its stone floor. My people once were led by a great and noble beast, and I no longer see his face in this reflection. Meanwhile, on the plains of Tabitha, Francine rested. There would be another time for war. Why are you crying? said the Hydra Goblin. Don't you know? Death is a process. In time, you must learn to choose to accept in order to accept to choose to learn. Marnie was sick of this gibberish. Just get me off this planet once and for all, she said coldly, while I've still got a few friends alive. The Hydra Goblin stroked his brow with the end of a ropey tendril. This girl, he thought, might just do. All right, let's just go on straight to the next one. The flashlights beamed a moon through the black across the attic and settled on a gap in the baseboard. A mouse hole, no bigger than a pocket watch. Eric crouched on his flat feet and placed his hand in front of the tiny opening. It's windy, he said, like someone in there is blowing on my fingers. Christy rolled her eyes and sighed a sigh. He's right again, she thought. Little brothers drive people crazy. But I'm not going, said Barnaby Jack. I'm running away tonight for good. And this time, I won't get caught. Annabelle whispered, I'm coming with you. Her yellow hair, now brown at the roots, caught up in the wind and danced. Barnaby Jack took Annabelle's hand and pressed something into it the size of a jelly bean. Hide this in your socks and be ready at midnight. And finally, one last one. I don't believe in magic. I used to, but once I started taking Introduction to Life Science with Mr. Massey, I realized the logical explanation for practically every mystery in the world was even more interesting than a supernatural one. Auntie Lorraine wouldn't agree. Of course, that's no surprise, because she's a professional witch hunter. Thanks for joining us, and I hope you enjoyed our little previews. Our movie, by the way, is coming soon to a theater near you. It's called Moonrise Kingdom.